Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking, and today I came to show you how to make a fantastic beef chili. I've done this before for you, so I'm going to do it again. So let's get into this pot and see what we have to do to make this delicious ground beef chili. Are you ready? All right, let's do this. So in this pot here, I am sweating onions, okay? I'm going to add a family pack size of ground beef. To this family pack of ground beef, I'm going to add onions. These are just dried minced onions. Then I'm going to add a pack of Lipton onion soup in here. While it's in this stage, I'm going to add a pack of chili powder. And I'm going to mix all this together. I am not going to add any salt. A lot of times chili packs have salt. So we're going to let those onions and all the seasons marry. And then we're going to go to the next step of how to make this chili. Remember, we start off just like this. But we will add water. And so the next step will be to let this cook down. And when I come back, we'll do the next step. Now we're at the point where we're going to start adding the water. We have cooked it. And now we're going to pull all the grease out of here. And we're going to keep on changing the texture of this meat by adding water. I'm adding two cups of water. Two cups of water at this point. Next, I'm going to add half a pack of taco seasoning. Half a pack of taco seasoning. Then I'm going to add a little hamburger seasoning salt. Just a tad. Because remember, these seasoning packets have salt. And so we don't want to use any salt right now. Now at this point, you can add pepper. If you want to add your pepper, you can add it a little later. But what we're going to do now is start to break down the ground beef. Let it become crumbly. Start to change the texture on it. Just a little bit. We don't want it to be real big. We want it to be almost like a taco meat from Taco Bell. So this is the process of changing the texture of the ground beef. And it's also the process of getting all the grease out. So we'll go and we'll do the next step after this. So now we're getting to the point to where some of the water is starting to cook out of it. I'm going to add another pack of chili powder. I'm going to add another pack of chili powder. You can taste it. I needed a little more chili flavor. So I'm adding another pack at this point. And remember, you're going to have a lot of grease come up. But we still need to add about another cup of water in here. So that would be about three cups of water. Um, just so we can pour even more grease out. And change the texture of the meat. So next, we're going to add just a cup of water. Another cup of water. So that's three cups to this Okay, and we're going to let that continue to have all the grease pulled out. The next thing is we're going to drain it. So when we come back, this will be drained, and I'll show you what's the next thing that we're putting in here. Now that I've drained the meat, I'm going to use a little water in the bottom of this to get all that goodness out. I'm going to stir and get the remainder of that goodness off the bottom. In this blender, I used a can of stewed tomatoes with basil, garlic, and oregano. And one can of Van Camp's chili with beans. I'm going to pour. You can pour as much as you want. But I'm going to pour some in here. 
Don't throw the rest of it away. You can make bean soup. You can make chili taco soup. You can just put it in the freezer and freeze it. So I'm putting all that goodness from the bottom so that when we add our chili, we won't waste anything. So that's going to just start boiling just a second. And I'm going to get the ground beef. I've drained the ground beef as you can see it's drained I got all the grease off of it all the grease you want to put it in there and you want to stir into the sauce you're gonna let it simmer and then you will have your ground beef chili if you feel like you want more sauce if you're going to use it to eat you can add more sauce if you're just going to use it for hamburgers and hot dogs you really don't need any more than this just let it simmer and that's that that is ground beef chili thank you for watching mama's comfort cooking Remember, enjoy your life, enjoy your family, and enjoy your food. Ground beef chili. That is the end result. There we go. Thank you for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking.